Come, Wolfpata! It's a little loud, Aaron. I know. It makes you want to punch something. More like someone. Well, you're the one that helped me find it. People make mistakes. <laughs> Another one down! Now this! This is what I was forged for! His bristlebacks are no everywhere. <laughs> no boring mid-afternoon patrols! <laughs> Just a hammer! Just the fight! Aloy? Errand! I'll handle the rest. Uh, <laughs> caught me at my best, as usual. Well, you did the hard part. I just took care of the stragglers. How bad is it? Uh, this? Ah, who needs ribs, huh? <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, I'm good. I'm good. Huh. Okay, well, I... I know you didn't come all the way to the Daunt just to watch me get wrecked. So what's the story? I need the embassy to happen. So I can head west. Erend, what I did at the Spire... What we did... It didn't end the threat. It just slowed it down. There's still more to do. Really? <laughs> well, that's great! I mean, yeah, not the threat's not over part. That's not so great. But, but hey, what, whatever you're up against, your spear, my hammer, just like old times. Oh. Erend, I need the embassy now. I can't wait for you to heal. Couple of days rest, if that. Actually, even if you weren't hurt, what I have to do, it's... It's better if I do it alone. Alone? Ah, uh, that figures. Aaron! I hate to interrupt the romance, but I'm pretty banged up here. I don't blow your blaze, I'm coming. Oh, this just keeps getting better. Huh. Listen. I'll go to Baron Light, get patched up. If you want this embassy to happen, we're gonna need this sun priest. Studious Wadis. Oh, I know him. I'll clear the Valley of Bristlebacks, then send Wadis to Baron Light. I'll catch up with you there. Well, I guess that's sort of like a goodbye. I'm sorry? You? Sorry? <laughs> yeah, that'd be a first. Where is this coming from? Hey, just, you know, forget it, yeah. Oh, it's nothing. It sounds like something. All right, fine. Now, after the battle at the Spire, you, you took off. You left without so much as a handshake. I mean, people like me, we fought and bled at your side, Aloy. You just, or you just disappear? What kind of person does that? Aaron, look. I'm sorry it wasn't easy for you when I left. And I know it's not easy now, but what I've been doing... Life on Earth is in danger, and only I can save it. Your life on Earth? Yeah. Everything dies unless I succeed. Well, then let me help. Oh. You can't. There's no machine to fight, no bad guy to kill. What I've got to do, I... I can't even explain it. 
Not even to people I care about. Oh, so much for being useful. Okay. Errand! By the forge. I guess that's my cue. Maybe I should go with you to Baron Light. No, no, hey, you're needed elsewhere. Obviously. We'll make it without you. I said we're good, Aloy. Oh, <laughs> go on ahead. What are you standing around for, then? Help me off this thing. Mm, that doesn't sound good. You'll have to handle that one on your own. We'll only slow you down. Just, uh, oh, catching my breath. <laughs> Nothing to worry about. Gentlemen. That's our cue. You taking the edge off? Huh. I mean, I'd ask you to join, but who'd be left to save the world, right? <clears throat> All right, now let me guess. You're in a rush, right? So, uh, whatever you need, ask away. How have things been since now I... Your silent departure? <laughs> yeah, not bad. Vanguard's going strong. Helped Avad pick up the pieces after the battle with the Eclipse. And I took a month to bury Ursa in the claim. But when I got back, I got the assignment to babysit Vadis on his way to the embassy. I thought that'd be a cakewalk, so of course things went sideways. You got blindsided. It wasn't your fault. <laughs> a couple more of these, maybe I'll believe you. I was, um... Wondering if you were able to lay Ursa to rest, like you wanted. Uh, yeah, yeah, we did. Uh, just seen the crowd that showed up to pay their respects. Half of them owed her a favor, and the other half, the other half owed her their lives. In the end, everybody drank. You know, <laughs> the rowdiest funeral since uh, what? Since ever. <laughs> Feels like she would have liked that. Yeah, damn straight. Damn straight. <laughs> she would have put them all under the table. What do you know about the Embassy? I know, not much. Only that Avad really wants it to happen. He said I'm making peace with these Tanakh. But from what I hear, they're not too big on the whole diplomacy thing. They do most of their talking with blades and arrows. So if you're heading their way, be prepared. Things might get ugly real fast. I'll keep that in mind. <clears throat> what do you know about this place? Well, nothing good. It's where the Karja dragged all the captives they took from the Forbidden West during the Red Raids. Lucky ones became slave labor. The rest were hauled off to the Sun Ring and Meridian. Your sacrifice. You got it. Tanakh made sure to wreck the place before they chased the Karja out of the West. I can't say I blame them. And now Avad's paying the Azram to rebuild it. And no matter how much new stone they put up, it'll still be stained in blood. I, um, I better get going. Oh, uh, yeah, don't let me stop you. Just, uh, are you sure about this? Yeah, I'm saving the world. That's, that sounds like a lot for just one... Errand. Yeah, all right. Can't blame me for trying. I, I guess what I'm really trying to say is... If you ever do need me... I know where to find you. Hopefully sober next time. Yeah, don't count on it. Be careful out there, Aloy. I don't care if it's a devil between herself. The king is here until that point grows. I'm asking nicely. I, I don't know what to do. Hey, Vara. Hi, Aaron. Uh, what's happening? I know the usual. Aloy wants something. People Open try to stand in her way. It's not going to work. Oh, that's it. Arrest her. I'd like to see you try. Supporting fire? Yeah, I'm locked and loaded. Hey, Nozar. You stupid bastard. 
You think you got the authority to keep that door shut in the savior of Meridian's face? What, what do you think Sun King Avad is gonna do when he hears what you did? Promote you, huh? Let it through, boys. Saving the world. Forget something back in Meridian? Look, Burl. It doesn't matter. Made it just in time. You gonna make it? You're going on without me, aren't you? Guess I'm stuck with Aaron. For now. Come on. I'll take you back to the fort. Need to be on my way. Then I wish you luck. The gates will always be open to you should you wish to return. And don't worry about your friends. We'll get them patched up. I appreciate it. I need to head further west. To, um, get more of Gaia's components. Make her stronger. You two can stay here in the meantime. And Gaia can help get you up to speed. I'm not trying to shut you out. This, it's like... training. Actually, I'm gonna go back east to get Aaron. Bring him here. Look, allies, friends, can help. We have a place to stay now. And like you said, Gaia can teach us, catch us up. It'll be okay. Okay. Take these then. One to wear, one for backup. Yeah, like this? Oh, uh, <laughs> you're not waving a hammer around, Aaron. Try a gentler touch. And yeah, my big sausage fingers don't really do gentle, okay? Bring it back, trace the line, to your right, other right. I just saw it. It's the one Aloy found up north. Gotcha. They call it a, a concussion beat party or something. Yeah, now that's music. Aloy. Aaron, you're all better. And you're here. Well, the world only goes on. If you can do your thing, we learn fast enough, we help make that happen. You want all the backup you can get, right? We still have much training to do, of course. One does not become hunter in a day. Uh, looks like you've got things under control. I should get this to Gaia. Right. We'll keep on training. Catch up as fast as we can. I'm seeing glyphs in my dreams already. Well, while you've been off gallivanting around, I've been working with Gaia to find out more about the Land Gods. So from where I'm standing, you're in need of some training. Come along. Uh... Oh, uh... Okay. This Hephaestus, he's like, uh, Gaia's own personal blacksmith. Yeah, a very angry one. As like my uncle Laurent, man didn't smile a day in his life and would box your ears if you messed with his forge. Hey. Hey. A nice place. 
Well, it's not like I built it or anything. Right. Well, I can see why you, uh, why you had your doubts about bringing us along. It is a lot to take in. But, uh, don't worry. <laughs> There's nothing I can't handle. Right. I was hoping you could help me with something. It's about the Tanakh rebels, and it also has to do with the Osirum. Really? That doesn't sound good. Let me know what I can do to help. I guess you know what we're up against by now. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. When Varl first told me those bastards come from the stars, I thought he'd eaten too many of those medicinal berries. Yeah, but I've gotten used to seeing impossible things, thanks to you. I just wish they weren't always trying to kill us. Yeah, you and me both. I see Varl gave you a focus. Well, it doesn't look as you know, fashionable on me, but by the forge, the things I've been able to see. Granted, a lot of them are bad, you know, the old world ending and such. I'm still trying to wrap my head around most of it, but I never really understood how you were ever able to find my sister back in the Sundom. And now I do, sort of. It makes me feel like I could be useful, you know? It takes some time, but yeah. How are you settling in? Yeah, Varl's been helping me get the lay of the land, when he's not getting all tongue-tied. I don't know who makes him more nervous, that Gaia lady or our new Utaru friend. Well, what about the Vanguard? Aren't you supposed to be back east, ordering them around? I sent some of them back to Meridian with a message. I doubt Avad will mind me sticking around to help the savior of Meridian. So, Talana came by the base? Yeah, more like rushed through. I was hoping she'd stay for a drink at least. Only Karja I've ever met who's any fun. But it seemed like she had more pressing matters to attend to. I discovered an Osirum militant group. They call themselves the Sons of Prometheus? It looks like they're the ones overriding machines for the Tanakh rebels. I thought that was something only you could do. They're familiar with ancient tech. And they're as anti-Karja as it gets. So, last year we stopped Durval and his cronies from blowing up Meridian in retribution for the Red Raids. And now you're telling me we have another group of Asaram trying to wipe out the Karja with... with an army of machines and bloodthirsty Tanakh? Pretty much. Oh, well, that's just great! Is there any way you can help me find out who they are? Anything to track them down and stop them? Yeah, I can... Send out some messages from Chainscrape. Get in touch with my contacts in the claim. See what I can find out. I'd appreciate that. Oh, and I'll let you know if I find out anything more about the Sons of Prometheus. Uh, same here. I wonder what it's like. Be huh. Looks like Aaron made himself at home. I included Erend and Varl in this briefing via their focuses. I concur that you should not investigate this alone. What if it's a trap? Of course it could be a trap. But if it really is Eleuthia, then it's in trouble, and I need to bring it back. Don't worry. I'll be careful and- We're coming with you. <sighs> Fine. Go grab your things. We'll wait for you at the west exit, in case you need to upgrade your gear. Let's go. Look at us. Three battle-hardened badasses forging into the unknown. This ought to be good. This distress call had to be up a really steep mountain, huh?
takes the keg. Burl, see if there's anything over there? On it. We'll check out the battlefield. Let's start with that zenith. Well, there are obviously more zeniths than we know about. I can't believe you fought one of them. Almost didn't make it. And here? I better get back to Erend. All right, she who sees the unseen. What did you find out? This was a carefully planned attack. I found camping gear up there. The rebels must have been staking out this place for at least a few days. They were waiting for the Zenith to show up. All so that they could test that weapon. The Zeniths have a personal shield that makes them invulnerable, but somehow the weapon got rid of it. The Osirum that was operating it was sending data on it somewhere else. I was probably just a prototype. I've known tinkers that do that. I'd do a little trial run before breaking out the real thing. Well, I guess it's still a work in progress, if it blew up. She was searching for something she lost. Her drone had instructions to recover something called the asset. The asset? Is that the uh, sub-function thing that you said could be here? The Luthia? I'm not sure. Come on, let's go talk to Varl. That's a long way down. Something tunneled straight down into the mountain. Looks recent. Whatever it was, it must have been powerful. That zenith the rebels killed was looking for something called... The Asset. I don't know what it is, but my guess is it's somewhere down there. All right, so we head down. Erend, stay here and stand watch. That zenith isn't the only one of its kind. I don't want to be caught by surprise if the others show up. Contact us by focus if you see anything. Okay. If any trouble shows up, I'll call you. Let's go. Aloy! Aloy, can, can you hear me through this thing? What's going on, Erend? Two of those spectral things just fell out of the sky. One of them is heading down towards you. The other one's waiting up here. We're coming up. Stay in cover until I get there. You got it. Get her to cover in that room. Whatever happens, she stays with us. Aloy! Ah. Erend! Yeah, the Spectre's dug its seals in. It's got me pinned down. Hang tight. I'm almost there. Just hurry! I gotta get to Erend. Erend, I'm here! Watch out! That thing's shooting down the center. Stay put. I'll see what I can do. It's done. She's... 
Look, I swear I'm not drunk, but right now I'm seeing double. Long story, but it'll have to wait. She needs a healer, but we need to get her back to the base immediately. Right. Yeah. Well, what are we waiting for, then? You two go on ahead. I need to take another look at that weapon. Errand? You okay? Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, why wouldn't I be? Because there's two of me now. Hey, there's two of you now! Well, at least you seem to be handling it okay. <sighs> I wouldn't say that exactly, but I'm trying. What else have you been studying with your focus? Yeah, I've been looking into this uh, Vegas place you found. Gaia showed us everything that happened when you went to get that Poseidon thing. I mean, this Morlin guy seems pretty smart. Though, risking the Tanakh clan lands for a light show is a bold move. Maybe I should check up on them at some point. Just in case. Right. What are you working on with your focus? I'm still figuring out how to read stuff on this thing. Those two lovebirds over there have been giving me a hand. But to be honest, all the little symbols give me a headache. But I'll get up to speed. I promise. Did you speak with Beta at all? She didn't really wake up till we brought her here. And when she did, I, I thought it'd be better if Zoe and Varl took care of her. No use crowding someone when they're in a state. I have to get going. Don't go causing too much trouble. Pam, Wumpata! It's a little loud, Aaron. I know. It makes you want to punch something. More like someone. Well, you're the one that helped me find it. People make mistakes. That's fine. I can take a look if you want. Nah. Usually works if I just flick it a few times with my thumb. Hey, look who's back. You find what you're looking for? I did. One step closer to taking the fight to the Zeniths. Can't wait. Did you find anything out about the Sons of Prometheus? Yeah, my contacts are looking into it, but nah, nothing yet. Plus, I have the Vanguard checking chain scrape and barren light, in case these guys are moving any supplies through there. But if they are, I'll bet they're being careful about it. Yeah, and they have focuses too. Makes it easier for them to evade guards and patrols. Hold on. Uh, way back when we first met, you came looking for me in Meridian because you detected Olin's focus with yours, right? So does that mean that if I go back to the Daunt with this... You could scan for other focuses. And if an Osiram is wearing one of these, they'd have to be a part of that Prometheus group. That's not a bad idea. Yeah, I've been known to have those once in a while. <laughs> Just let me know if you find anything. You got it. You should know. Silence is involved with the Sons of Prometheus. He's the one who gave them the override tech to begin with. Why doesn't that surprise me? That's probably all part of some master plan, huh? At least we know we're good at wrecking those. Damn straight. You still sifting through loads of data? Yeah, it's interesting. There's lots of words. I, I thought maybe I could try finding things with more, you know, pictures in it. Not much luck there, but I, I did find out about these, uh, holofilms. Like, images put together to tell a story. Uh, they were made to look like they were the real thing. You know, the Osiram like shows. I bet they pay a lot of shards for those hollows. I made a new friend while I was getting ether. Yeah, I've seen him. Catalo's, uh broody fella. You do know the card just say these Tanakh drink people's blood? You shouldn't believe everything you hear. Yeah. 
Well, I, I guess if you trust him, so do I. How are things going around here? Hey, you tell me. Varl's new girlfriend tried to kill me earlier. What did you do? I made one joke about how they, you know, eat grass a lot. How does anyone fight with nothing but tree leaves in their stomach anyway? From the looks of it, the Utaru. Yeah, well, I wasn't expecting it to be that fast. Just uh, try not to get hurt. I see you've got strike set up. Mind if I have a go at it? Really? Uh, sure. Uh, let's do it. We can play another time if you want. I better get going. All right. I'll be here uh, if you need me. Okay. All over the world, too. Anytime they wanted. Yeah, I don't know if I'd like that. I wouldn't want my Aunt Alga knowing she could just talk to me every second of the day. My ears would pop off. Hey, Aloy. Uh, it's everything all right? It, it seemed like you and Varl were down in that basement for a while. Yeah, everything's fine, I guess. Well, okay. Uh, what, what can I do for you? It seems like you're getting a hang of this data thing. Yeah, it's been helpful. When I could make sense of anything. I did find the old ones enjoyed a good brew like the rest of us. Only they let machines serve the stuff in bars. They even let the damn things cut you off before you saw the underside of a table. Uh, and that's half the fun. Now, you won't see me letting a robot serve me a pitcher anytime soon. I see someone's been playing strike. I'm just trying to get some practice in. Helps take my mind off things. You should try playing Catalo. It's a Tanakh game. Maybe you'll learn something. Oh, sure. Tanakh. Sure he won't try and kill me if I win? Pretty sure. Do I smell... ale? I brought some over from Chain Scrape. And with everything that's been going on, I thought we could all use a drink. Besides, there is nothing that brings people together like a good brew. That's what my sister always said, anyways. You're more than welcome to have some. Maybe another time. I should get going. Back to reading, I guess. Do be careful out there. Pizza? Apparently it tastes worse the longer it takes to be delivered. Or something like that. Maybe you can find the recipe? I think it was just flat bread. With cheese. And some sauce. I like it already. Let's just I hear about you going west. Turns out we need one last thing before we can grab Hephaestus. Because it would have been too easy otherwise. Bet you're used to that focus by now. Well, I can hit machines in their weak points. <laughs> I guess that's something. I wish all the other data was as easy to deal with. Now, to be honest, it's hard to understand half of what's on there. And then the other half reminds me, you know, this isn't a fight you can win by just waving a hammer. Which is kind of what I do. But hey, that just means I gotta study harder. You know, make myself useful. Just give it time. You've been looking at any interesting data? I asked Gaia to find me something to look at a while back. And she found the mother of all forges. They called it sports. Turns out the old ones spent a lot of time tackling and punching each other for points in, in one game or another. Are you mixing some solid food and fresh ale? I bet half the claim will be lining enough to watch. Anything happen I should know about? Uh, Zoe asked us to help her bring more plants in here. Not for eating, apparently. Yeah, if you ask me, place is fine as it is. Now, metal might be plain, but it's sturdy. Nothing wrong with that. Who needs a bunch of vegetation? How are things with Catalo? You still scared of him? 
Oh, she thinks she's funny. Actually, I played strike with him. I had to fill in most of the conversation myself, but I'm still alive. Glad to hear it. I need to get going. I think I know the answer, but are you sure you don't need any help? Gaia mentioned this uh, other tribe you found, the Quen. They sound like a nasty bunch. I can handle them. In the meantime, Vara will help you get ready for what comes next. Take care of yourself, Aloy. You ever play that board game Aaron set up? Strike? I'm the one who gave it to him. I was hoping it'd distract him enough to spare us that ruckus he calls death metal. No such luck. What do Tanakh do to relax? You know, to take a break from training? We play strike. Your Osirum friend, Erend, is surprisingly good at it. Although he has yet to beat me. It helps one think strategically. Hones the mind for tactics. Somehow that still sounds like training. Oh, you're back. I found out more about the Sons of Prometheus. They definitely have a base. It's a place called First Forge. We just have to find it. First Forge? Alright, that's it then. I know where that is. You found one of them? A Sons of Prometheus operative? Hey, he was posing as a Delver, but my focus locked onto his. When he saw me coming, he ran. I caught up with him. He tried to crush his focus. But there was still data on it. A bunch of locations and coordinates. One of them was called First Forge. I didn't know what it meant until now. Nice job. Ah, you know me. Ancient tech expert. Send me those coordinates, okay? Now hold on, Aloy. I'm coming with you. Asera is the last of a line of killers that murdered Ursa. And I need to be there when she goes down. Of course. Send me the location and I'll call you when I'm close. All right then. Remember to send me the coordinates to Asera's base. I'll let you know when I'm close by. I'm uh, sending him now. I won't let you down. I know. Hey, Erend. I'm close to Asera's base. Think you can join me? On my way. So, ready to take down some very nasty Asaram? First, we have to figure out a way in. Well, we'll never get it unnoticed. Their armor. It's almost the same as theirs. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, uh, hey guys, keep up the good work. Who are you? I'm the guy who caught the Nora as Sarah's been looking for, that's who. Yeah, we don't know you. Huh. Well, that went well. We should do it more often. We need to find a Sarah and shut this place down. It won't be easy to avoid her people in here. But I got my hammer ready. Just stay low for now and follow my lead. You got it. I think that's all. But I don't see a Sarah. Let's check out the back of this place. What was that? It sounded like a tripwire. Be careful, Ayla. Sarah really likes her booby traps. And you still like the sound of your own voice, Erin. Sarah. I was hoping you'd make it this far, Nora. If my men were as competent as you, I would have wiped out the Karja a long time ago. It's a shame I'll have to kill you. Enough games, Sarah. Not such a shame to kill you, Rosna. See, 
There's a draft here. It's got to be another path. Too bad there's no way to get to it. Yeah, hold that thought. I can be handy once in a while. Watch your back. You okay? I will be when we catch a Sarah. Keep going. Now what are we supposed to do? I got this. Should have thought of that. Come on. You took your sweet time. We can't let you finish what Durval started, Asera. This ends here. Funny. I was about to say the same thing. <laughs> ah! sister's death, a Sarah's little army. It feels like the bloodshed never ends. And the pain it causes. I hope he's really over this time. Me too. But you did good. I'm serious. We couldn't have stopped this without you. I'm glad I could help. For once, I guess. Should we head back? You go on ahead. I'd like to take a look around first. Make sure Sarah didn't leave any more surprises behind. Okay. i see you later then. By the forge, I could use a drink. Aloy. You think we can talk? Hey, I was hoping you'd show up. You know, I have something for you. To commemorate our, uh, mission. We did good together. Yeah. We did. There she is. I hear you found Thebes. How was it? Maniacs, lava. What's not to like? I'll remember that next time I go traveling. At least I got what we needed to trap Hephaestus. Good thing I got my gear ready then. You look tired. Ha! You're never one to hold back, are you? I've just been making sure that I got everything down for this mission of yours. I wouldn't want to be the usual screw-up out there. You'll do fine, Erend. Have you spoken with Alva yet? Yeah, when she's not reading the archives like a giddy kid drinking her first ale. Uh, she took to that new focus quick, that's for sure. I gotta say, I'm a little jealous. But I can see why you two hit it off. I should get going. As soon as you want us heading out to those cauldrons. I'll give you the heads up. I wouldn't have taught you the song if I didn't like the way you sing it. So you like hearing me butcher Utaru music? I sure don't. You sound like a dying lawn leg. How are things with everyone? Slightly quieter. Aaron's been busy scouring data on his newest obsession. Apparently, the Old Ones wrestled machines as some kind of performance. Called it Metal versus Meat. A must-see battle between steel and flesh, as Aaron likes to put it. You'd think we have enough of that going around as it is. Hey, I thought I'd check in before leaving for Gemini. Are you sure we shouldn't be checking up on you? Whatever went on between you and Beta sounded 
Intense. Not that I'm judging. <laughs> Forge knows all the screws flew loose every time Mercer and I fought. I think we'll be fine from now on. I'm glad to hear it. After we get Hephaestus, we'll be taking the fight to the Zeniths. So... No more reading. Yeah, it wasn't that bad. Not really. Besides, uh, going through all that data helped me realize something. You know, the soldiers, the, the ones that fought the Pharaoh machines so Gaia could be built? Uh, they were fighting a battle that couldn't be won. Not with all the weapons in the world. I think most of them realized that, whether anyone said it or not. And they still did it, though. They bought time for all the eggheads working to save the future. Our future. As long as I can do that for you, I'll consider myself a success. Thank you, Erend. I'm glad you're with me. Okay, enough. I'm gonna get emotional. Anybody take you up on that ale you brought yet? Zo can't stand the smell of it. I tried Alva, but I don't think she knows what taking a break means. And I'm not putting Varl anywhere near that stuff after that victory party in Meridian. What about Catalo? Ah, now there's a man that can hold his liquor. Pretty sure we downed half a keg. We had a good chat, I think. I should go. That same here. I got a date with a cauldron to prepare for. I bet people are curious about that new arm of yours. None more than our Quen ally, I assure you. She couldn't wait to take it apart and figure out how it works. I gave her the data I used to build the thing, hoping I would satisfy her curiosity instead. Good luck with that. Oh, good. I was hoping we could talk. What's wrong with your shoulder? Yeah, it hurts a little. Yeah, maybe a lot. What'd you do? Well, I tried to arm wrestle with Catalo. Yeah, maybe that wasn't such a great idea. I was just curious to see if that new arm of his was as strong as it looked. Turns out it really is. Okay, people. It's time to head out. I'll get everyone together. Connections in place. Booting up. Beta, Aloy. I am fully installed on this core and ready to connect to the Cauldron Network. It's good to hear your voice. Aaron, everyone. Fire your pulses and sound off. I'm at my Cauldron. This thingy, it's blinking. Did I do it right? In position at my cauldron. My pulse generator is blinking also. That means they're working. I'm in position and mine is too. Mine as well. Okay, radio silence until I give the all clear. Signing off. Gaia, let's cage the beast. <laughs> Connecting to the cauldron network now. Elizabeth Sobek, Alpha Prime, activating Omega Clearance. Erend, are you there? 
Aloy! Aloy, is that really you? Yeah, it's, it's me. Where's everyone else? We're all... We're, we're back at base. What happened? It... It might be easier to explain in person. I'll try to join you there when I can. Okay. I, we'll wait here for you. It's good to hear your voice, Aloy. When you're wounded, you have to strike back. Draw blood. Hey! Can I get one damn minute to mourn my friend? Regala is going to slaughter my tribe to overthrow Hikaru. The Zeniths have Beta and Gaia. We can't sit around wallowing in our losses. Kotalo's right. We must fight. Oh, all right. So what are we gonna do, huh? Take on all of Regala's rebels? Not to mention the Zeniths. What can we even do? Throw ourselves at their base? Something like that? So... After we lost contact with you, we regrouped and went to Gemini. What happened? The recording we found on Varl's focus cut off when that Zenith Eric... The Zeniths were tracking Hephaestus. When Gaia trapped it in Gemini, they... They knew where we were. After... Varl tried to stop them. They took Beta and Gaia. I only survived because one of the Zeniths turned against the others to save me. One of them? Well... At least we didn't lose you too. So what do we do now? We're going to defeat the Zeniths. And get Beta and Gaia back. But first, we're going to stop Regala. How? Back in Gemini, Beta gave me a gift. There's something I need to do first to make it work, but it could put an end to the bloodshed. Word is, Regala's readying her army for an all-out assault on the Grove. I need to be there. I know. Go. Stand with Akaro. And keep an eye on the sky. Strike true as the ten. The rest of you, whatever preparations you need to make, upgrades, resupplies, get on it. It won't be long before we take the fight to the Zenus. We'll be ready, Aloy. And when you're ready, meet me outside the east exit. I'd like to have a word in private. Even when things are darkest, you're the flame that lights the way forward. Just tell me one thing. Am I gonna get to smash up a bunch of Zenith bastards? We all are. Good. Before I do anything else, I should check on Zoe. It sounded important. I thought you were gonna go fight some Tanakhs. I wanted to check in with you first. Yeah, don't worry about me. I'm just, you know, picking up the pieces like everyone else. I'll be there when you need me. I never doubted that. Oh. Good. I'm glad you're back. So am I. I know you hate waiting, but you'll have to stay back here a little longer. Well, you go do what you gotta do, but uh, are you okay? It's not just Varl we lost. Beta's gone. I, mean, I almost lost it when I realized my sister had been taken by Durval back in the Sundom. I'm getting her back. That's all that matters. Understood. Do you think so we'll be okay? I don't think anyone's ever okay after losing the one they love. I can't tell you she's... Handling it better than I ever did. That keeps the rest of us level-headed. I need to get going. Uh, you better get there before Catalo tries to take on Regala's entire army by himself. Yeah, do me a favor. Don't go disappearing on us again. 
I'll do my best. Hey, uh, Mr. Know-it-all is here. You know, your focus buddy who never smiles. I didn't know what to do with him, so I had him wait in your room. Got it. Thanks. You know, we've never played Machine Strike together. Oh, no. <laughs> I got enough trouble with Vitalo, always kicking my ass. Who says I'm any good at it? The way my luck's going, I'll bet you're a pro. Oh, uh, before I forget, I watered those plants for you. Oh? I just know they meant a lot to you, and, uh, I, well... Thank you, Aaron. Aloy! You came back with some interesting... friends. I wish I could say we don't need them. But Silence and Tilda are here for a reason. Even Regala. Yeah. Enemy of my enemy and all that, right? Right. You, uh, talked to Tilda at all? I tried. I don't think even a hot forge could melt that ice. And you say she wants to help? I think so. Well, let's hope. Doesn't look like any of our guests are making trouble. Yet. So, Catalo tells me you flew. Well, that's new. I've been busting my bolts trying to learn to read. You're, you're out there having all the fun. Don't worry. They'll be getting all the fun you can handle soon. With the Zeniths. Looking forward to it. I guess Silence is keeping to himself, as usual. I was hoping you'd give me an excuse to hammer his sorry ass to the ground. Please don't. You telling me you wouldn't want to get just one good hit on that smug face of his? After everything he's done? Sure. Later. Right now, he's got something we need. I better get going. Well, you know where to find me. Okay, everyone. We all know what's at stake. Beta. Gaia. Not to mention life on Earth. Now, it might seem like the Zeniths are invincible, but they're not. We've got what it takes to break into their base and defeat them. We even have one of them on our side. Tilda, show us the base. It is constructed atop the ruins of an ancient military facility on an island to the southwest. I can get us inside. To this location. Undetected. How exactly? You'll know when you need to. Once inside, our goal will be this structure. The launch tower. Gaia and Beta are being held at the top. But along the way, we will face overwhelming resistance. Most importantly, from Gerard, Eric, and the others. But also... Once I take away their shields, we should be able to deal with them. But it will be easier to deploy the device if someone else is carrying it. I'll need a strong back. Carry stuff? Yeah, I can do that. Even if your device works, there will still be Spectre drones scores of them. If only we had an army to fight them. I've got that under control. You'll know when you need to. All right. We'll meet up again just before we go in. Where's the best place to rendezvous? On the coast, just across from the island. Once there, I'll show you the way. Okay. I'll let you know when I arrive at the rendezvous point. And then you can join me. In the meantime, do whatever you need to prepare. Understood? Good. We're finally doing this. Never thought I'd be off on a mission to take down a bunch of immortals from the stars. 
I can hear the drinking songs already. If that one's not working right, you can have one of my spare focuses, you know? Yeah, little bugger's got some personality, that's all. This saved my butt a couple of times now. It wouldn't feel right to leave it behind. You know, besides, it, uh, now it goes with my outfit. Wouldn't want to spoil your look. Faro made the right call, you know, bringing you here. Thanks. Yeah, Varl. You know, I never knew he had a sister. I found out a few days before you guys went to, to Gemini. I was, uh, well, to be honest, I was terrified I'd screw up the mission somehow. So he sat me down for a drink, just one, mind you. And we talked about family. Vala, Ursa, loss and revenge. How you helped us. You know, we never did get that drink you promised back in the embrace. And you never told me exactly how your sister escaped the Mad Sun King. I guess we never got round to it. World ending and all. No time like the present, though. If you're up for it. You think it's time for us to finally have that drink? Yeah. I, I mean, yeah, yeah, of course. Oh. So. How did Ursa escape Mad Sun King Jaron's palace? <laughs> well, uh, first she had to survive the Sun Ring. See, during the war, the Karja threw a prisoner a day in there. And, you know, for what? To die as sacrifices, fighting machines in a pit. Thinking somehow that was gonna appease all the other deranged machines in the world? Ha! And when it was Ursa's turn, the Karja thought she'd go down if they threw a big machine at her. Oh, but she didn't. Yeah, she defeated all of them. Even got some of Jaron's kestrels for good measure. And the mad Sun King was impressed, I guess. Thought it'd be funny to have her run around his palace as a servant. He enjoyed humiliating her that way. I remember you telling me something about that. That's how she met Avad. He helped her escape. Yeah, but, but what no Karja scroll will ever tell you is how the young prince snuck Ursa out of the palace. He knew their best chance was to get Ursa to blend in, so... <laughs> he got her everything she needed to disguise herself as a Karja noblewoman. I have perfumes, veils and all. I get the feeling she wasn't too happy with that. Oh man, Ursa would have rather fought her way out of that palace with her bare hands than put on all of that Karja eye paint. But Avad insisted it was the only way, so she agreed under one condition. Avad had to dress up as well. She made Avad dress up like a noblewoman? As perfumed and powdered as a babe. Ursa said he looked better like that than he ever did in a crown. That would, uh, definitely make for an interesting sight. Oh, it worked like a charm, too. Not only did they make it out of the palace, they paid a traveling merchant to get Ursa to the border, and none were the wiser. You were right. That was a story best told of a drink. All good stories are. I guess I should get going. I'll see you at the rendezvous point. With my hammer ready. I wouldn't have it any other way. Okay, everyone. I'm at the rendezvous point. It's time to rescue Beta and Gaia. Understood, Aloy. We're on our way. Aloy.
Where are the others? Not far behind. Egghead here couldn't stand traveling with the pack. Are we all here? Then let's begin. A tunnel. An ancient escape route from the ruins on the island. When I realized it ran all the way across the water, I, I thought it might prove useful to come and go undetected. So I concealed it from the others. Shall we? I wish there was a less pungent way to get way inside the base. Agreed. There's the launch tower. That plane offers a little cover, so the only viable path is through there. There will be specters guarding it, and many more can be deployed from those hangars. All right. Alva, Catalo, get to it. Where are they going? Somewhere important. Aaron, you're with me. You guys? Take the high ground, in case we need covering fire. Tactically sound, I suppose. What will she do? There's a sensor node nearby. If I hack into it, I should be able to scramble the network and keep you undetected. But not for long. Then we should proceed. One more thing. Open up the channel to beta. Audio only. We're here, and we're coming for you. You know what to do, right? As long as you hold up your end. We will. See you soon. Be careful. Let's go. Alva and Catalo did their job. Now it's Beta's turn. Uh, Aloy? I think we're in trouble. Whatever you plan to do to stop those specters, you better do it now. I'm not doing anything. Beta will. She just needs a little time. Time that we don't have. Come on, Beta, come on, come on, come on. What is that? I think you got their attention. Very clever. You had Beta inject Hephaestus into the base's printer matrix. Which is faster and more powerful than any cauldron. And now it can crank out machines to its heart's content. Get to the launch tower before this whole place becomes a war zone.
Ah, now we know who's been causing all the fuss. Tilda's little pet. Silence! Zenith inbound! Can we drop their shields, please? I'm powering it up. Stay still. This is pointless! You can't hurt us. Face it. Your worms that ooze to the cracks into our basement. Silence! One moment more. But I might just spare you if you give up Tilda. I think it's safe to say she's forfeited her share of our operation. Permanently. Ah, uh, there. No. Nothing. Fine. All right, people. Light them up! Are we supposed to be scared? Take long before he preps the shuttle for launch. Then he'll be able to take Beta and Gaia into orbit and onto the Odyssey beyond our reach. We gotta go through there? I failed to see another option. Then we'll carve a path. Ready? Stop, Gerard. Aaron, is everyone all right down there? Uh, mostly. We're cleaning up the last few specters. What about the Zeniths? Dead, I think. Izo told me you got Eric. Good work. Yeah. Thanks. I guess only Tilda and Gerard are left then. Is she hurt? Still on her feet. Thank the turn. Goodbye, Silence. She looks okay. She looks victorious. As always. Eloy. You did it. Where's he going? As far away as anyone can go. Oh. Are you sure? You're staying. For a time. You people are going to need all of the help you can get. Uh, does anyone else need a drink? Not if it's that ale of yours. Uh, uh, I'd be fine with a nap. Excellent idea. Uh, I hope it's really over this time.
There's another battle ahead, Elizabeth. Very different than the one you fought. It's not about the distant hope of creating a new world. It's about preserving the one we have. My friends have a new mission. To spread the word and ask for help. They've taken it in stride. I think it's because they've always known what I've only just started to understand. That the people of this world have the strength to fight any battle. The ingenuity to solve any problem. So, Las Vegas. How's it going? I've been talking with Moreland about how to get the word out about Nemesis up in the claim. The Asaram are free folk. It'll be hard to get them to work together. But him and me, we know a lot of people. We get enough of them riled up, the elder men will have to listen. Well, if anyone can make it happen, it's you guys. I'm not impressed with those lights at all. My crews aren't beer, but they're better for you. The way it's there is a lot of work ahead of us, but we'll make sure my people stand with you when Nemesis shows up. That's a good thing we put an end to Sarah's plans. My sister would have been proud. You know, one time I'd like the two of us to go on an adventure where angry Asaram aren't trying to kill us. <laughs> 